Hey everybody, it's Doc Almighty back with tutorial number four on immersive engineering. Now we're going to continue with our power generation uh, video tutorial videos, and today we'll be covering windmills. Now this is going to be a quick and dirty short video because frankly there's just not that much to windmills, but uh, this will serve as a really quick introduction of all the nuances involved uh, so you can become an expert on windmills very quickly. They're really not that difficult. Now you've got two different kinds of windmills. You get the standard four-bladed windmill, uh, it's just the immersive engineering windmill, and then you have the eight-bladed improved windmill. Now the only difference is the improved windmill is substantially more expensive to make, and it does roughly double the RF per tick of your regular windmill. So let's take a look at how we create these. Now to create the regular windmill, you have to create these windmill blades. You need four of them to create one windmill assembly, and you do that with three treated wood planks and four treated wood sticks, like so. It gets you one windmill blade, and you take four of those in this configuration around an iron inglet, ingot to create your windmill assembly. Now to actually build the windmill, it's very simple. You can use any material you like. It doesn't have to be a column like this. Really, you can get very creative. The only requirement is that you use a kinetic dynamo to touch the windmill too. And to create that kinetic dynamo, you need two redstone, three iron ingots, and a copper wire coil as so. And you simply mount the kinetic dynamo high enough that the windmill clears the ground. And all you have to do is right click and attach it to your kinetic dynamo. You can then take a wire connector. I've got a medium voltage wire connector here, but you can use a low voltage wire connector as well because these uh, windmills just don't create that much RF. And wire it down. I've got a current transformer here. This is not required. This is just something I use so I can show you how much RF per tick uh, that these windmills do. Uh, and one thing to note, I'm using treated wood scaffolding here, and, and there is a reason for that other than it's an immersive engineering block. It's created with wooden treated wood planks and uh, treated wood fence, three of each, gives you six wood scaffolding. But the nice thing about these is that, well, when you don't put a sign in the way, you can actually climb them just like a ladder, uh, which is pretty helpful, especially when you're putting one way, way up in the sky. Uh, you can use the wood scaffolding and just climb your way up there. But as you can see, this particular windmill is doing a whopping 3 RF per tick, which is not particularly exciting. Uh, but that's because we're very low in the world. We're at Y level 8 or 7 right now, and this thing only does 3 RF per tick at this level. But the higher you go up in the world, the more RF per tick that windmill will generate. It's all dependent on how high you are in the world. Now that being said, if you're building a base down here at Y level 7, windmills probably aren't the best option for power because you're going to have to put them way up in the sky and run wire all the way down. And you have, if you, if you watched my first tutorial, you'll, you'll note that you get energy loss in the wires. So if you have to run the wires from Y level 255 down here, you might as well just use another power source. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it's also interesting to note that the RF per tick, as you can see on the sign, increases when it rains. Now I'll show you that real quick. We'll turn the rain on. We were doing three RF per tick before. Now we're doing four RF per tick. So not a huge increase down here, but the higher you get in the world, the more of a, of a difference that rain makes. So it's not something you can depend on, but it's a nice bonus when you do have weather. So let's take a look at how we create the improved windmill. Now to create the improved windmill, you need to create eight of these improved windmill blades. And to create those, you need tough fabric. Now to create tough fabric, you need industrial hemp fiber. You need eight of them and a wooden stick per tough fabric. To and you need four tough fabric per blade, so you really need 32 uh, tough fabric in all. Now, industrial hemp fiber is not something that you can craft, you have to grow it. So the way to do that is, first you gotta find industrial hemp seeds, 
And you can do that just by punching regular grass out in the world. Just punch, 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 punch. You'll get all kinds of different seeds, but some of those seeds will be industrial hemp seeds. And when you plant those, they create plants like this. You just punch these. And you notice it's kind of like river cane, or sugar cane rather. When you it's two blocks high, you can just punch the top half and not have to replant. But when you do that, you get industrial hemp fiber from that. And then you just use those to create your tough fabric. So use four tough fabric and a windmill blade per improved windmill blade, like so. You create eight of those around a steel ingot. Uh, you can't use iron, it has to be steel. Like I said, this is a little bit more expensive. You gotta use a blast furnace to create this steel. But eight windmill blades and a steel ingot gets you an improved windmill assembly. And it sets up exactly like the other. You just connect it to a kinetic dynamo, put a wire connector on there, wire it up to whatever you're trying to power. Now you'll notice that the improved windmill does 7 RF per tick at this height, uh, which is just over double what the regular windmill does. However, the higher you get in the world, and we're going to climb way, way up here, the higher you get in the world, the more power you get out of this. So we're going to go all the way up to Y level 255 to show you the two extremes. Way down low, where there's barely any power, and way, way, way up here, where you can see already from this distance how much faster those two windmills are rotating. So just, just eyeballing it, you can see both of them are going faster. Now the standard windmill at this height is giving us 24 RF per tick, which is eight times what it was down at Y level seven. And the improved windmill is giving us nothing because my capacitor is full. Okay, well, let's just swap that out. That was an unexpected development. Let's put an empty capacitor there. And a wire connector wire that puppy back up and you'll see now I'm getting 49 RF per tick instead of the I think it was 24 we were doing down below so it's roughly double what you're doing over over here with the with the standard windmill but you can see this is what you want to see is is this kind of speed now you might notice that hey this windmill is orange and the one down below was white well that's because you can actually dye the windmills i'm going to show you how to do that right now now the the dyeing mechanism is not uh, particularly user friendly literally you just right click this center button here of the windmill and it will randomly dye one of the windmill arms which can be a little frustrating when you're clicking 50 times and it's the same arm that is getting colored. Um, but eventually, after you've clicked this about 300 times, I'm exaggerating, of course, uh, you'll you'll get all of the windmill blades covered. Uh, it, it would be, I think, a little cooler if you could choose which arm uh, to dye so that you could make interesting designs like alternating colors and whatnot. Um, but that isn't, uh, to my knowledge, possible. All right, so there you have it. That is the rundown on immersive engineering windmills. Uh, if you found the video helpful and you learned something, uh, please give me a like and uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, if there's something you didn't like or you have questions about it, also comment on that. I respond to all the comments. Um, but there you have it. Until next time, go forth and be awesome.